Hello, YouTube friends. Today, I wanted to share with you a very common problem with the 5.3 Chevy engines that have the active fuel management um, option on them, which have special lifters. Um, this car came in with a misfire. Um, actually, we got two of these things here today. Got a Yukon XL and a Chevy Tahoe, or a GMC uh, Yukon, actually, I'm sorry. Basically the same thing. Um, customer complains of a misfire. Well, very commonly, these lifters tend to fail or collapse. So, upon further inspection, the easiest thing to do is remove a valve cover and basically run the engine. Um, we found out that the um, had a cylinder one misfire. So we checked the plugs, wires, all that, did a swap just to make sure to see if the misfire followed the plug or the, or the quill pack that we swapped out and it did not. So basically the easiest thing to do is remove the valve cover. Cylinder one is on the driver's side bank right here. Um, on the other Tahoe or uh, Yukon we have outside, it's got a cylinder four misfire, which is on the right bank. And so basically the easiest thing to do on these things is to remove the valve cover since the plugs, the wires, and the, um, the injectors and the quill packs were all fine, remove the valve cover real quick and basically just run the engine and see if you have a collapsed lifter, which is a very common thing here. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Go ahead and fire this thing up. And it's gonna run. And basically what we're gonna see, actually this must've been a cylinder seven misfire. My, my correction here. Um, we want to see the engine running. Well, as we look back there, we see that we have a dead valve. It is not, it is not rocking like it's supposed to. So basically what we got here is a collapsed lifter. Um, since we saw that, it's a pretty quick, easy thing to do. And what you're going to do is tell your customer that they're going to need a new engine. These engines tend to eat a lot of oil. GM says, oh, that's in within their specifications that it eats about a quart of oil every month or so. Um, another thing is that, um, the valve covers on the left side here have a breather port back here that th that gets clogged up and causes oil consumption. But as of right now, this truck's got 180,000 on it and we have a lifter that has failed. So basically this needs new lifters, replace all the lifters and the valve guides, or the lifter guides, I'm sorry and do the heads to them and you know we're basically tearing down the engine but we're gonna go ahead and swap it out with a used engine with lower miles because the lower end of this thing um, is not too great because it's eating so much oil so very common problem on these GM cars unfortunately hope you don't have to deal with this it's a pretty expensive fix about three thousand thirty five hundred dollars to fix compared to just swapping out an engine for about you know about the same price so Hope this helps with your diagnostics. Have a good day. Thank you.